It was a one-sided beginning to the match between Surrey and Yorkshire at the Oval. Things got off to a blistering start for Surrey, helped in no small part by the returning Stoneman, fresh off the back of his spell in the England Test team. He and Burns looked largely untroubled on the morning of day one, and it didn't take long for Stoneman to race to 50. His milestone came after only 54 deliveries, and just before the lunch interval, Burns notched up a half century of his own. The home side on top throughout the morning session, and Yorkshire badly in need of a breakthrough, the score 124 without loss at lunch. Once play got back underway in the afternoon, Burns reached 75 before edging Brooks behind, giving the visitors their first scalp and Stoneman a new partner. He was joined by Patel in the middle, but the change of partner didn't stop Stoneman from fluently reaching his century. 125 balls is all it took. Patel too began to contribute, with Surrey looking untroubled as they reached 200 and picked up their first batting point. With the session almost at an end, Stoneman was finally removed. He edged Bresnan to slip and was out for a superb 131. Sangakara was next in, but he'd soon have a change of partners as Patel went for just 27 before T, the score 259 for three at the break. With the day having belonged to the home batsmen so far, they were confident enough to shift through the gears in the evening session. Sangakara was back from the Caribbean, and back to his menacing best with the bat, he raced to 50. With folks providing a strong support role, Surrey continued to compound Yorkshire's misery, adding more batting points with a score well past 300 at this point. And that's the way it would continue until the close of play. Plenty of joy for the home side with folks making his 50, and Sangakara moving into the 80s. Nothing for Yorkshire to shout about, 398 for three the score at the end of the opening day's play, and Surrey will resume on Wednesday looking to bat the visitors out of the game.